Next up, ladies and gentlemen, on the show, I've got a media expert, an entertainment surgeon, a gentleman who just completed his master's in special educational needs, and also is a director of various Jamaican um, organizations. But today, I'm bringing him on to speak on two key issues. One, which is Brick Jam, and also Jamaica Moves. Mr. Corey Hyde. <laughs> Hey, Corey, welcome, welcome Thank you, to the Silburn Show for the second time. And it will not just be the end, it will be many more times to come. Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Hyde was one of the first guests which I had on the show. You know, when I started the show, I had to get some key guys that I knew, you know. And of course, Corey was one of them, which was handpicked. Not by me, he picked himself. <laughs> Corey, listen, I want to talk about Jamaica Moves. Yes, sir. Um, this is a new um, initiative by the Minister of um, Health in Jamaica. And I'm very curious as to why it is in the UK. Hi, I'm Christopher, the Minister of Health Jamaica. I want to send a big shout out to the Jamaican diaspora UK for their launch of Jamaica Moves UK. This is exciting. Jamaica Moves may have started here in Jamaica, but the health and wellness message is for all Jamaicans, wherever you are, and all of the world. And so I want to pick up the leadership of the UK diaspora. But please tell us more about Jamaica Moves and this health initiative. Uh, Jamaica Moves yes. um, initiative is based around educating, informing persons yes. about non-communicable diseases, how yes. to control them, how to prevent them. Yes. And it is also a platform for those with the NCDs to, to share their experiences so yes. other persons can be guided mm -hmm. accordingly. Um, it has been going absolutely well in Jamaica. Yes. And we thought it prudent for the diaspora to mirror what is happening in, 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 in Jamaica. Yeah. And so Jamaica Moves UK is now here. Right. Um, officially launched in the United Kingdom yeah. um, under the same, the same remit. Yes. So to bring awareness of non-communicable diseases yeah. and how to best control them. Um, this is a very exciting idea. It really is a sort of fun response, if you may, to a very serious problem and issue. And that is the issue of lifestyle diseases. And so for this reason, the government of Jamaica, through the Minister of Health, uh, Honorable Christopher Tofton, um, introduced Jamaica Moves, which really, it's, it's, it's just a matter of encouraging individuals to do what they like best in terms of activity. This has been working very well in Jamaica, and um, we want to really encourage uh, members in the Jamaican diaspora to get on board. Because we often say a lot of times we don't have time for our health. We yes. keep going and going. We, we probably don't even know that we have an NCD yeah. and how to control and probably not having that NCD, yes. how to prevent. And, and, and if somebody is listening now and wants to know what is the NCD, I know it's non-curable disease, but an example of a couple of them. Well, non-communicable diseases. Mm. Um, we're, we're looking at hypertension, yeah. right? um, type 2 diabetes. Yes. Um, for, and yeah, you know when it comes to... Cancer as well. Yeah, the, yes. yeah, so, we, so we're talking about um, non-communicable diseases, um, which the government of Jamaica is wanting to now bring it into the UK to bring the diaspora with them. Yeah? All right, the idea is, um, as a coordinator for the Jamaica Moves yeah. UK, um, we have a framework that we're looking at. Yeah. And it is underpinned by a healthy diaspora yeah. equates to a healthy Jamaica. Yeah. You know, because the diaspora is actually an extension of, of you know, Jamaica itself. Yes. We're living abroad and, of course, we're considered Jamaicans yes. nonetheless. And if we're looking for support from the diaspora, if the diaspora can spend less money on the health, more money probably going get into Jamaica. So okay. If you're, looking, if you're looking at it from, 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 okay, from that so point of view. Do you like to do your stretches? Do you like to do your knee lifts? Do you like swimming, cycling? Whatever you like to do, we encourage you to just start. Just be active. It's the first step 
in controlling and preventing an NC. Hey, so I remember, you know, as a child, parents used to tell you, hands up, hands down, sideways stretch, forward stretch, and then you go, jump, 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 jump. okay, okay, let's do this now. Wow, wow, to make moves, to make moves, to make moves. <laughs> There's so many things you can do. It's the underpinning that look, mm. if you're healthy, it is a given that you'll be spending mm. less on your health and you yeah. will have more disposable income. No, I, 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 think it, I think it makes sense and that's one of the reasons why I jumped on it because I always see Minister Tufton and, and different ministers and, and encouraging people to exercise. And of course, you know, in a sense, Jamaica and influence from Jamaica can have a more direct impact and influence on Jamaicans in the diaspora than even the Brits. And the system here because well, they listen a lot to what's happening in Jamaica you, you, you know uh, Silburn the Jamaica Moves initiative is being looked on by the World Health Organization mm -hmm. um, they, they do see this initiative as something quite inclusive yes and many communities in the diaspora don't have to be Jamaicans but friends of Jamaica yeah. and those loving Jamaica that everything about Jamaica can yeah. join in the campaign and so yeah. it's a benefit across um, the, the, the whole nation yeah right across the whole the entire UK yeah that everybody is now aware of look we're gonna make healthy living fun yes yes um, I know there are so many um, wellness programs. They've got so many retreats. Yeah. There are so much fitness clubs that you can, you, you can mm -hmm. join and all of that. But with a little Jamaican spice and rhythm yeah. into it, um, I think we can make a greater impact yeah. in the United Kingdom. So how, what are the practical ways then that Jamaicans in the UK can be involved in Jamaica moves? All right. We have several, we have several um, pillars. Yeah. Um, one from the information point of view, just the spreading the word of you know about what an NCD is. Yes. And you know just encouragement. And we have another pillar, which is look, we're going to get fit. We're yes. going to take ten minutes out of the day. Um, we're stepping in the office, everybody. Now let's let's do some some stretches and all of those things. Yeah. So from the physical, you know, and now we have the administrative part of it, yes. where we're trying to get persons to activate. Uh, a regime yes um, so it could include an expo it could include um, the same fitness program yeah. but something set so persons can follow a structure mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know that sort mm -hmm. of thing so it, it, it is it is quite inclusive and and whilst we're doing it we're having fun my name is Angela Rose Howell Deputy High Commissioner at the Jamaican High Commission here in London it is our honor and privilege to be a part of this Jamaica Moves program, which is an initiative of the Ministry of Health of Jamaica. We are so excited about the various programs that we have in mind. The event itself will be held sometime in May, but it will be spread across all the diaspora regions here in the UK. We want to encourage you to be a part of this program. So come and share with us and make this a very, very important project. All right, um, several activation yeah. points. <coughs> uh, we'll be traveling to, to various counties yes. and we'll be having um, sessions, fitness yeah. sessions, um, forums, seminars on, mm. on healthy living, yes. that sort of thing. So we're going into Manchester, we're going to the Leeds, the Derby's, yeah. the, you know, the Reading, um, Nottingham, wherever there is a community yeah. um, willing to... Caribbean exact, community, Jamaican exactly. community. Exactly. Yeah. Um, that's where we'll be putting... Focusing. Up, focusing yeah. on. Yes. Yes. Um, wholeheartedly. And then we will have a massive sports and fitness day. Yeah. Right. In summer. And that's when all the activating areas and persons will yeah. come together as one. And we showcase uh, all the things that you can do. Yeah. And um, so from the health expos, we'll, yeah. we'll be bringing in services, health services, yes. you know, to have the little forum on the day. Yeah. So you can showcase. Um, different sort of um, events right. or stuff like that, yeah. yeah. Go again. Go again. Mm. There'll be health fairs on the day. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be sporting activities. Everything for all walks of life. Yeah. Um, from, from the little babies up until the great grands. Yeah. Um, so on that day, Silburn, you can have your breakdancing um, mm. session, you mm. know, under the, the banner or the theme, Silburn Show Jamaica Moves UK. And that, and that is also encouraging people to move 
and to be active, quite active. Right. What was there a study that showed that um, there's a need for it in the UK? If there's a need for it in Jamaica, was there a study that showed that there was a need for it? Well, the NHS has, has published several articles yeah. on, on Caribbean communities, um, ethnic groups. Yes, yes. Um, under migration, mm -hmm. under migration, mm -hmm. and it it revealed that the migrant groups they are more susceptible to, they're more prone. Let's let's, let's go. Yeah. And the migrant groups are yeah. more prone to to have the NCDs right. than than any other group. So we right. have to be a little bit more focused on, on the migrant groups. Be proactive groups on that. And yeah. Be very proactive. Okay. And get the message out. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a short break now. As you hear, Jamaica moves. And um, get tuned in, you'll get more information on that, get fit, and we follow Jamaica at the same time. Why not follow the land of your birth, if anything like that? And, uh, and um, Corey and myself, of course, will feed more information into the Jamaica move. See you shortly after the break. Of the UK diaspora, the embassy in the UK, the, the, the high commissioner, the, the many leaders in the community for seeing this health and wellness message as being important and packaging the Jamaica Moves concept to ensure that there is an activity in the UK, among the UK diaspora, to benefit our Jamaicans living there. I say I salute you, God bless, enjoy, and remember, health and wellness is everybody's business. Let us take the responsibility to ensure that we protect ourselves in the interest of our health and wellness. My name is Corey Hyde, coordinator of Jamaica Moves UK. Our tagline is, let's make healthy happen now. Non-communicable diseases has been plaguing the diaspora, but do you know if you have got one? Join us on our campaign as we bring awareness as to what an NCD is, how to control it, and how to prevent it. There will be a series of activities, activation points that you can get moving. We are concerned about your health. We are concerned about the diaspora's life. And we are concerned about the health of Jamaica on a whole. But we are also concerned about the friends of Jamaica, your friends in the community. We want everybody, all households, to be aware of what an NCD is and how we can control and prevent them. Join us on our mission as we get Jamaica and the United Kingdom moving in Jamaica Moves UK. Jamaica Moves UK, make healthy happen now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on The Silburn Show. And uh, of course, what I'd like you to do is to like the videos, share the videos, and subscribe to the channel. Let people know about it. But the important thing is also to comment. Let us get your comments, let us get your views, so we can understand how to even please you better, ladies and gentlemen. So as I said, share, like, subscribe. Ah, thank you. I saw you there. You subscribed and you shared. Thank you so much. See you next time.